Have you ever been wondering how your body is working from the inside? Well, I have been thinking about that a lot and I also watched all kinds of programs on television about it. But they were kind of boring and hard to understand. But now with VR, imagine that you can just fly through the body in a spaceship and learn everything about it by just exploring it. And that's what we are going to do today. We are going to watch the Body VR. And this is an educational experience that is for free on the Oculus Store. And we are going to check it out. So let's go and let's jump right into VR. You're all set. Enjoy the tour. Thanks. Whoa. This is cool. Where are they going? Let's follow them. If we can. Ah. Oh. We are currently inside an arterial, a small strand in a network of blood vessels that spread throughout the body. This is awesome. Let's look at the blood's most prominent cell, the red blood cell. Red blood cells, or erythrocytes, take up almost half of the blood's total volume, giving a red color to our blood. Their main function is to transfer oxygen from our lungs to vital parts of our body. We are learning something today. Nice. Next up are white blood cells, or leukocytes, which take up less than 1% of the blood's total volume. Their main function is to protect our body from infection. Well, that's useful. So where is this tunnel leading us to? Let's examine platelets, or thrombocytes, whose main function is to stop bleeding at the site of a damaged blood vessel. That hologram is cool. Whoa. On our right, you can see a tear in the blood vessel. Let's investigate. A type of leukocyte, the monocytes, creep through blood vessels to become macrophages and search for foreign invaders, which they eat and digest. Let's leave the bloodstream through the tear to find a macrophage. Prepare yourself for miniaturization. Oh, oh. Yeah, let's find it. Whoa. This is epic. We are currently on the outside of the macrophage within an infected tissue. Looking oh, at its surface. That's not good. A typical cell membrane structure. There are thousands of receptor proteins on the surface of the cell. Some of these proteins are tasked with transferring information and others with transferring cargo. Water and oxygen pass freely through the cell's membrane. This is National Geographic all over again, but on a more awesome way. Larger molecules, like glucose, enter through small pumps or channels. I am Large really objects, amazed. Like viruses, require recognition or keys to gain access, thus preventing unauthorized entrance. Fortunately, I have a counterfeit key that's identical to a real one. We are now entering the cell. Oh, we are going in one. Hyperino, we are in a cell. Lohol. A macrophage has pulled us in, and we are submerged in the cytoplasm, a gel made mostly of water. This is the beautiful. The skeleton is made up of a network of adjustable strands that gives the cell its structure. There are three different types of strands that make up the cytoskeleton. Microfilaments are the thinnest strand, measuring only seven nanometers in diameter. Intermediate filaments are made of the protein actin and have a diameter of 10 nanometers. This is a true adventure. So interesting, so much to learn. Lastly, 
microtubules have a diameter of 24 nanometers. Oh, it even moves with my head. Wide enough to be used for transport. Trippy. Oh. A oh, hello. A type of protein called Kinzin motor protein has the ability to walk along microtubules. <laughs> How it, it walks. into larger structures and transports them around the cell. Looks kind of cute Energy to me. Is available in the cytoplasm in the form of ATP molecules. ATP binds with kinesin and propels it forward. With each step the kinesin takes, it binds with an ATP molecule and releases an ADP molecule. In real time, kinesin walks up to 100 steps per second. That's a long way to go. The protein is heading straight for the cell's nucleus. It's not Let's that fast. Take along for a ride. Sure. Oh, we push him now. Well, that goes much faster this way. I am happy to help you. <laughs> we are now approaching the nucleus. This looks the more like the universe. The center of the cell. Looks trippy. The surface of the nucleus has its own membrane, similar to that of the cell. Wow. Are we going in there? I think so. I am ready. Pores are spread around the surface of the nucleus to allow entry and exit of larger molecules. Wow, this is really impressive. School kids should try this. Are located around the edge to facilitate the hey, they move with me. Whoop. Whoop. We're almost there. Uh, don't eat me. I am a friendly human who wants to check out his own body. Let's head inside. Sure. I am ready for more tour information. <laughs> it's getting better and better. This yeah, one is also nice. The, nucleus, the control center of the cell, containing the majority of the cell's DNA. Nice accent you have, tour guide. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is a molecule that carries our genetic code. No hating on the accent, by the way. I speak funny too. The DNA contains instructions for protein synthesis. In the process of transcription, a segment of DNA is copied into RNA, or ribonucleic acid containing a single recipe for protein creation. I don't totally understand what he's saying, but it's really interesting to listen to, that's for sure. So what is this for a thing? Oh. Uh. Let's exit the nucleus through a nuclear pore. It's funny how this uh, capsule is like resetting itself. It's not like turning around, it's just teleporting to a different direction. We have exited the nucleus now floating through the cytoplasm. Surrounding the nucleus is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or RER, a maze-like structure made of flattened membrane. Beautiful colors. Studied with ribosomes, the RER maintains a vital role in protein synthesis. Ribosomes link together amino acids, following the instructions received from the RNA. The creative protein is fed from the ribosome into the RER, which then folds the protein into a specific shape. It's mind-blowing how the body works the from the inside. The protein then transported in a vesicle made from a portion of the RER's membrane. Distance, you can 
can't see a mitochondria. Yeah, that's it. Mitochondria are free-floating organelles, typically referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria received its name due to their vital role in ATP generation. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is the main source of energy within the cell. Mitochondria take the pyruvate and convert it into carbon dioxide and water, releasing ATP in the process. This is so small this energy is in real life. In many cellular processes, such as biosynthetic reactions, motility, and cell division. Now I understand why we had to put our feet inside the, uh, the cell. platform. Let's make our way outside. Sure, take me wherever you want. It has been a great journey so far. Aww. Oh. This is pure art, and it's just in your body. Oh. There's an incoming virus attack headed for the cell. Oh, virus attack! Life on screen! Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Can you hear that sound? A cloud of antibodies is stationed around the cell to protect it from virus. Oh! Luckily, I'm sitting in this uh, capsule, so they can't really hit me. Oh man. Together, the antibodies and white blood cells form the front line of our immune system. This is really impressive. Thousands of viruses have made it past the antibodies. The viruses overcome the defenses, and some viruses are able to enter the cell using counterfeit keys. <sighs> I can get sick of this, I guess, with so many. Oh. They are attacking with a bunch. Viruses. It looks like the cell is not going to survive. Oh no. Let's back to the observatory. They are turning black. The viruses are like infecting it. The human body. We hope you enjoyed the tour. Oh, I did. Seriously, wow. Hello, Ooh. and welcome to the Body VR, an immersive tour huh? through the human body. You mean welcome back? Please keep your hands and feet inside the platform at all times. So that was the Body VR, people. Wow, that was the Body VR. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then slam that like button. And if I think about it right now, the future schools are going to be so much fun. I mean, if you learn uh, about the body this way is so much better than a boring textbook if you're a teacher and you're watching and you're like hey I want to educate my students on a, a new way then try this out because this is mind-blowing anyway that's it and as I always say and I see you guys next time see you in the metaverse Wow I want to go to school again I am excited if they start to educate with VR it would be great the future, Squidward.